this person with a bicycle randomly slap my wife on her face. A Richmond woman was walking by the steam clock in Vancouver's Gastown on Sunday with a friend when she says someone randomly attacked her. She and her husband believe the incident is related to a rise in anti-Asian hate crimes. Momo wasn't comfortable speaking in English about the person that attacked her, but her husband Charles says it happened around 3 p.m. on Sunday and left his wife frustrated and depressed. Because uh, uh, the slap was very hard, um, it uh, ripped off her glasses instantly that uh, she described to me that uh, she has um, a trauma like instantly after the slap. After the shock wore off, Momo says she tried chasing her attacker. She met a police officer and she explained the situation and showed them a picture of the person allegedly responsible. Vancouver police wouldn't confirm to City News if it is the suspect, but they say they are investigating. Charles says officers tried to chase the person but were unsuccessful. Uh, the police told my uh, wife and uh, her friends that this person is, uh, is known to the police and uh, has a record of uh, randomly attacking tourists around the Gaston area. So there were many people around uh, the clock. Why did the person just come up randomly and attack my wife, which is a her Asian Chinese heritage? So I believe this is a, a crime that's related to uh, the Asian towards Haitian, Asian hate. So we we got to do more. We got to do more to protect the safety of our residents. Doris Waikima is with the Stand with Asians Coalition, which has organized several rallies against Asian hate in the Lower Mainland. May 10th marks the second annual day of action against Asian hate. Last year, municipalities across Canada made official proclamations observing the day. In 2020, the Vancouver police reported a 717% increase of anti-Asian hate crimes in the city. But we want to set aside a day so that we can actually focus on reflecting and thinking and we are committing ourselves to fight against not just anti-Asian racism, but anti-Black, anti-Indigenous, um, or anti any people of color. After Momo's experience in Gastown, she wants other Asian people to speak out. She's just uh, saying that uh, she would like to take this opportunity and raise the awareness of the uh, Asian, com Asian community to speak out uh, louder. Uh, if uh, we, do we don't speak and we just uh, uh, put it away, it, uh, we, our voice would not be heard. In Vancouver, Kier Juno, City News.